always something you can do. Um, and you don't have to come with any like special skills or anything like that. It's just, you just have to come with a heart for giving and a heart for helping people. I was in my grad program and I just remember a classmate mentioning that they had previously worked. So I was like, let me go look them up. And I just was really drawn to the mission and really like the core values. You know, of Make a Wish. I mean, you have this whole organization that's just the whole objective is just to bring families joy. So I'm kind of like a serial volunteer. <laughs> I volunteer a lot, um, but this is one of my favorite organizations to volunteer with. And I think just in general, volunteering, you really just get the opportunity to do something positive, you know, and impactful for someone else. So, um, and I just remember, I think just growing up as a youth, we always had people that were like, kind of pouring into our neighborhood and and it made a difference for me so I think it's just kind of like that ripple effect of you know when you can help other people and you see um, really again like the impact that it has on your life and you really just want to continue to to give that to somebody else as well I feel like um, it's kind of like a duty I think we should all be volunteering we should all be doing something you know to give back to communities you're doing something meaningful and fun and you're never alone in the process. Like it's a whole team of people, you know, working with you. You have, you know, another wish granter. Um, so it's it's not a lot of pressure. And I mean, it's just really fun to do. And again, it's, it's meaningful and it makes a difference. So. I think probably my favorite celebration was by my first wish kid because I was like so amped about it. And it was like a last minute. They had already, um, Matter of fact, they, I was the only wish granter they had on it, I think. Um, and we just did like this whole celebration and she was just like so completely shocked and in tears and it was just so much fun because the whole family got to um, just come out and have a really, really good time. They, they even comp the food, like they got to eat and celebrate with each other. And I kind of set it up where like when she walked in, I had this picture on here and I had like the, like the little kids fake belt and um, a bunch of little other things and of course like her letter and everything so it was um, I think I don't know if it was because it was my first or because I just felt like um, I can just see like the joy of not just the wish kid but like the entire family it's all important it's all important work again you're dealing with real people that have real issues and um, your job is to kind of help them find a way to feel, you know, a little bit better about things, even if it's just for one day or, you know, however long that is, so. I think it's just a matter of showing that and reiterating that you're not doing anything alone. That's why you have another wish granter. So whereas one of you may be more reserved, the other one may be very like, you know, like you'll play off of each other. So you don't, you, know, you don't have to change your personality or, you know, um, if you're hesitant, then like, let's talk about it. Let's have a conversation. Talk to me about what, like, what is really holding you back. But you know, like, you do become a part of like their lives, and you know, at some point, so in that aspect. So we, I, I think that um, just kind of like making those connections um, was is really nice part of of doing that as well. You know, it's all about community. Yeah.